Hello and welcome back guys. In this video, we will understand how to make a launch file for launching different nodes in ROS2. This video builds up on what we already did in the previous parts of this series. Specifically, in part one of the series, we built a talker and a listener node which publishes and subscribes respectively. In that video, we used ROS2 run to run those two nodes. Now, if you haven't seen those two videos and you want to understand how to make publishers and subscribers in ROS2, please check out that video. But as a summary, what we did in that video was we made one talker node which publishes at a set frequency and the publishing string would be hello everyone followed by a number which would increment and the listener node just listens to that. So the talker node has a publisher to publish the string and the listener node has a subscriber to subscribe and get this information. We were using ROS to run in two different terminals. In one terminal, we would do ROS to run with the talker node and in the other terminal, we would do ROS to run with the listener node and then the talker node would publish and the listener node would receive that information. Let's also try it out right now. So these are the two terminals we have. I'll also source ROS2 in both of them. Now, as I said before, I have an alias for this, which is sgalactic. So I'll use that. And in the other terminal, I'll do the same. Let's build this package. Now let's source this package here. Let's do the same in the other terminal. Okay, now let's run the talker node in one and listener node in the other one. This is the package name talker listener which we made in part one of the series and the node is talker node. Okay, so this is what we saw in part one of the series. In this video, we'll make a launch file which will run both these two nodes. But before we do that, let's also understand the importance of a launch file. Launch files are used to launch multiple nodes from the same command itself. Because right now we use two terminals and ran ROS2 run twice for both of these nodes. That is not practical at all. You would not want to use n terminals for n nodes where you would do ROS2 run for each, right? That makes no sense. So let's say you have n number of packages and n number of nodes in your project then you can use one launch file to launch everything you want. And it's just one command and one terminal, right? So that's why we use a launch file. So right now we'll make a launch file to launch the listener node and the talker node. If you've seen part one, you know what I'm talking about. This is your listener node, which just has a subscriber. And this is your talker node, which has a publisher. So with this, it publishes at a set frequency. And then in the listener node, it just receives whenever the publisher publishes because they are working through the same topic. We also had our setup.py file where we had these two lines, right? So these two are the executable names. Now, instead of doing ROS to run for both terminals, as I said, let's make a launch file to run both the nodes from one command from one terminal. To make a launch file, we go to our Docker listener package inside SRC and we make a new directory called launch. Inside launch, we'll make a new launch file called talkerlistener.launch.py. Now, one thing to note here is that in ROS1, you would have XML files for launching, but in ROS2, you have an option for Python as well. So you can make your Python files to launch all the nodes you want. Now, this gives you a lot more control because now it's all Pythonic because it's a Python file. So you can do whatever you want. Previously, with your XML file, you would not have a lot of control over launching. So Docker was a publisher node, listener was a subscriber node. And here we have our launch file called docker underscore listener dot launch dot pi. Now I'll start with all the imports we need. Here you need these two imports, launch description and node. You'll understand why I'm doing this. But the point to remember when you're making a launch file is that launching in ROS2 needs something called a launch description, which defines how the nodes should be launched and when and in what order they should be launched. So complete control over launching of nodes. So we have something called launch description. So there is a function called generate underscore launch underscore description, which we need to make here. This would have two nodes to launch, right? In our case, talker node and listener node. So let's first make our talker node. So this is what we need to do to generate the launch description for the talker node. Here, I just gave it the name talker. Now node is imported because we need to use it here. The first argument is the package name, which is talker underscore listener. That is the name we gave in part one when we made this package. The second one is the name of the executable, which we gave in our setup.py file. So if you look at our setup.py file, we have talker node here. So that is what we gave. The third one is the name of the node you want to define. So if you give the name here, that will be the name of the node when it is actually launched. We need to do the same for the listener node then. 
So this is your listener node and it follows the same scheme. You have package, which is the same executable, which is listener node that was defined in setup.py and then name, which is the name of the node listener underscore node. Now you have both of these to make your launch description. This is what you would do and return it immediately. So here you're making an instance of launch description, which you import from launch. And here you need to give a list of all the nodes you want to launch. Now launch description can have a lot more than just nodes. Now let's say you have another launch file, which has the nodes. You can also use that launch file here instead of rewriting all the nodes here. Now this was a very simple launch file because we just had two nodes directly in the same package, but we'll also look at more complicated scenarios later on when we use all of these ideas to actually build projects in navigation and everything else. So for our case right now, this is all there is to make your launch file. But to make this launch file visible to ROS2 when it builds, we have to make changes to setup.py file. This is our setup.py file. We need to import OS and glob so that we can work with parts of the files. You'll understand what I'm saying in a bit. So here we currently have our source code files for talker node and listener node. But in ROS2, whenever you want to use files apart from your source code files, let's say your launch files, your configuration files, uh, files for let's say map for navigation or any data files, you have to include that here. Right now it doesn't have a launch file, but ROS2 when actually builds the project will copy all of this given in data files to the install directory. ROS2 when it builds the project needs to have all data files copied from the project location, which is what we actually make to the install directory. And when we run the project or when we run any node, it is actually run from the install directory, not our source code, unless we use symlink for source code files, but that's a different thing altogether. Let's not get into that right now. So here for a launch directory, we need to add it to our data files. Here you need to give the destination path and the source path. So this is what I added. This says that the path in your share directory inside install should be share followed by package name followed by launch. So I want the launch directory to be present. Now I add a comma and then I'll add the source. This is your source. The default directory to begin is your package directory. And inside that we have our folder called launch. And then inside that we want all the launch files to be moved to the install directory so that they are visible to ROS2 when it builds and then when we run the project. Now I'll add another comma towards the end just so that if later on I want to add something else, I can. In this video, we won't do that, but it's just a good practice to do that always. So at this point, we actually are done with our launch file. And when we build the project, Ross will see this launch file and move it to our shared directory inside install. Let's build the project right now and see what is happening. So this is our Ross2 workspace. This is the install directory I was talking about. Inside that, the package name and then share. Inside share, you have the package name again. And then here, is the place where you would have your launch directory once we build the package right now. Because in setup.py, we have told ROS2 that when you build the project, then move these launch files from the source to the destination where this is the destination. So let's try building the project and see what changes. So I'm using the previously used terminal. Let's do callcon build. Now you see that you also have the launch file. Previously it wasn't there. So you have your launch file here. Now instead of having two terminals, all you need to do is first source the package and use the launch file. To use the launch file, this is what we do. ROS2 launch, package name, followed by the launch file. So ROS2 can see this launch file now. So if you see here, you have both the listener node and the talker node alive. And then the listener node is saying received hello everyone and then talker node is publishing. So this is how you can use the launch file to launch multiple nodes. And for a big project, this is the way to go about launching different nodes. You cannot use ROS run from n different terminals. So this was all about using launch files to launch different nodes using one terminal, one command and one file. In ROS2, you have a lot more control over launching different nodes because you're using a Python file. So it's easier as compared to an XML file where you don't have much control. So I hope this video was useful to you and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.